Ryan Steinekert with Ashley Brown, head coach of the Rich Rebels. Coach, onto the semifinals for the 11th consecutive season. Way to go. Thanks. You know, it was a good win for us against Diamond Ranch. You, you know, we owed that team from last year, and then they beat us earlier this year. And, you know, so it was a good win for us, and we're excited to move on to the semis. You guys ran the ball extremely well on Friday. What do you attribute that to? I think our line, were, they were blocking the right kids, and then our running backs ran hard and were, you know, hit the hole. And, you know, so it was a combination of, of good blocking and the backs running hard. Riley had about as good a start as you could ask. I mean, better than you could ask for from a running back. His first four carries resulted in three touchdowns. Yeah, you know, he did a good job, and you on know, the line give him holes to run through. And, you know, and like you said, he got three touchdowns on the day. And, you know, he just did a great job, and our line did a great job. Another big part of the game reminded me of a couple years ago when you won the state title. You were starting with excellent field position. Your average starting field position on your first six drives that you scored on against Diamond Ranch was their 47. Yeah, you know, and that definitely helps. You know, we harp on these kids not to let the ball go in the end zone on kickoffs. Just for that reason, you know, if you can give yourself an advantage by not having to go as far, you know, it seems like it helps you a ton. Diamond Ranch was down a few guys. Did that make a big difference as well as, I mean, did you guys play better this time? Definitely those kids being gone for them hurt them. You know, there were some good kids that they were missing, some big athletic kids that, you know, give us fits at Diamond Ranch. And, you know, if they'd have been here, it would have been harder for us, but I think we still could have won. The bottom line is you did win. Now you're on to the semifinals to face a, a Canab team that, uh, on paper, I mean, they've been ranked number one most of the season. They're the runners up last year, lost only to uh, Diamond Ranch in the state championship. They've lost only once this year to a very good Beaver team, 2A. Yeah, you know, we got our hands full. They're very good. Um, they can run and pass equally well, and then their defense is really good. So we'll have to make sure that we take care of the football, and our kids need to know that they have to play hard on every down. You played Canab earlier this year. It was at your place, and your offense was something to be forgotten. But defensively, you, you really held them down. They didn't do much offensively. They got a, a big punt return that set them up with a short field and an interception that set them up with a short field. Yeah, you know, defensively we were very good against them. Like you said, their special teams hurt us, and then, you know, and then we turned the ball over. But, you know, we got to be better on offense. we got to be consistent. we got to make sure we don't hurt ourselves with penalties, and we got to take care of the football. And, you know, if our kids will do that, you know, hopefully we'll have a chance to win. There have been some instances, looking back, and maybe this is just my perception, but against Canab, a couple plays that made the difference. Against Diamond Ranch, a couple plays that made the difference in the loss. Are there times when the guys are just losing focus for a play or two? Yeah, you know, and you hope that that doesn't happen this time of the year. And, you know, against Diamond Ranch this last time, I thought we, you know, we kept our focus and we, and we played well the whole game. And, you know, so hopefully that they understand that they got to do that again against Canab in the semis. And, you know, it's the time of the year that they should be doing that, and that's what we expect them to do. Any uh, health or injury issues? No, we're still just missing Wyatt, and everybody else is in good shape. Does it play much of a factor that you're going to be on a college field, bigger stadium, different atmosphere? Uh, the one thing that's a little different is your 25 seconds. It starts automatically, and so it's a little quicker than what you're used to in the regular season. But both teams have to do it, so you know we'll just have to make sure that we get plays in and and that we understand that we got to get the playoff in 25 seconds. But that, other than that, you know the kids are excited because they get to play on a college f- field, and we'll see what happens keys of the game to beat Canab? You know, we got to make sure that we don't give up big plays. If, if they're going to score, they got to drive the ball on us. And then we got to make sure that, w- that we are consistent offensively and, you know, that we can run the football. And if we can, you know, I think we'll have a chance to win. Ashley Brown of the Rich Rebels, thanks so much for your time. Best of luck uh, getting back to the state championship game this weekend. Okay, thank you.